Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Chernobylite. This will be part 29 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, if you will recall, we did a bit of a time travel, uh, and we fixed the timeline. Now nobody's sad, um, everybody's chill with us, and uh, yeah, we can actually kind of move forward. So, before we lost Olga, and we lost, uh, Olivier. But now we have them all back. So let's see what this leads to now. Anyone? Oop, Igor, Olga. I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. Oh? Alright. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. Ah, uh, strange powder. Shit. It calls it dust. But it's so secret. when we fucked up Mave, people even know it exists. Dust. That's why she disappeared. Why are you telling me about this? Well, that's not because great. Because I can see you for what you are now. Oh. But what's that? A forthright, honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. <laughs> anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Okay. Now well, I'll keep an open mind. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. Yeah, I mean they don't have lurkers there, so. Okay. Must do I'll something. Check it out. First chance I get. Okay. Well. Uh, so what have we got left? So, the Black Stalker. Well, that doesn't sound like something I want to go and see, but sure. Uh, Tarakan can do that. Just an explore. I guess Mikhail can do that. Uh, Olivier there. Olga there. Uh, Sashko can stay back at base for the moment. And I guess I'll go and do the mission called the Black Stalker. Which, I'm pretty sure the Black Stalker is the dude that's trying to kill us a lot, so... Magic powder? Don't it's know why I'd want to do this. Really style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? Still, if there's oh, shut up, Tatiana. It, it could be your best chance to defeat the Shadows, and perhaps even him, the Black Stalker. But, why would it beat the Black Stalker? Oh... Just because it keeps Chernobylite monsters away doesn't mean we keep the Black Stalker away. Is he supposed to be a Chernobylite monster? Watch out for those bastards, Igor. I heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to Red Forest. Okay. God, it's been a while since I played this. I need to remember how this works. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're over here. Oh, that's a bit of a weird place to start. It's a bit different. Um, anyone here? Oh. That's a Chernobylite monster. Don't need that. We're just going to go this way. Where there's distinctly less Chernobylite monsters. I mean, for now, I guess. Okay, we're real, uh... Real messed up, though. I wonder if we can slip a Chernobylite Neutralizer in here. Actually, what do we need? Oh, it's the radiation that's bad. Jesus. Yeah, we're plus 60 out of 800. Holy shit. Can we actually, like, fit anything else in here? Okay, we can do that. Just a wormhole blocker. Wow, we should have been working on radiation a lot more. This has gotten a bit out of control. Oh well. Live and learn, I guess. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, I hate you. Ow. Oh god, I hate that. Oop. 
Okay. Well, it gives us something to shoot, I suppose. Where the hell is he? Hey, got him. Oh, that's a... That's an annoying little bastard, is what that is. There was, like, an update, so maybe they've added that thing? Because, fuck, I do not remember that, like, at all. Did it hurt us really bad? Nah, not really bad. Not super bad. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to do it again, but... Oh, you're kidding. Should have made some lockpicks before I left. Whoops. Oh, Alright. I think I found some of this... What did you call it? Dust? What? There could be lurkers nearby. Those things are never too far away. What? Where did I find dust? Huh? Eh? Okay, now I'm confused, but sure. Hey, you! Hello! Where do you think you're going? Uh, inside. Uh, don't shoot. I'm, uh, friendly. Friendly, my ass. Turn around and keep walking until you disappear. I'm with Olga. Why so hostile? I helped you guys out, remember? I need to speak with Madfei. Did you now? Olga's gone and Kostya is missing. Probably because of you. Some help. What? Um, offer assistance. Look, I, I really need this dust. Maybe we can work out some kind of arrangement. No can do. There's too much going on right now. Kostya and Matfei are both gone. I don't give a toss about Kostya, but Matfei is a different story. Why? Where's Matfei gone? What happened to our kin? Fucking NAR bastards. No. Yeah, be be adamant. Why is this guy so stubborn? Look, I need the white powder. <laughs> white powder, eh? And you're a country too. <laughs> yeah, do to be fair, I deserve here. that. We live healthy, clean lives. Uh-huh. Now, wait a minute. Just kidding. I know what you mean. The answer's no. <laughs> fair enough. Um, Alright, I'm leaving. Guess I need to find a way, another way to get this dust. Okay, I'll be going now. Good idea. Make yourself scarce, friendo. Did you hear that? Can you talk to this guy? Yeah, Talking I'll go. This half word is a waste of time. What am I just going to sneak in? Go to the cemetery. At least that's what we call it. Matve used to visit there from time to time. Maybe you'll find him there. Her Kostya. Hmm. Isn't, isn't Kostya like her husband or whatever? You think she'd be a bit more concerned with him being missing? I don't know, just putting that out there. Alright, any nasties or goodies around here? There's some goodies here. Nice. A metal plate, completely Jesus. useless. This isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, yeah. but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Does it? Slight slime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there. What's left of her? What? Jesus. Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? I'll check the bones, if you don't mind. Jesus. Just a mass grave. Oh yeah, there were bits of my mother in it. Didn't tell anyone about this. Christ. Well, it's a bit of food. I'll take that Chernobylite. Always need more of that. Alright, now let's, let's get out of here. I don't want to linger too long, otherwise the Black Stalker will bloody find me. And this place is already messed up. Can I put a... a radiation thing in here? Guess I can. I'll put it downstairs. God, look at that radiation. It's so bad. Come on. There we go. Build that. 
Can I build a second one? Yeah, I can. I'm going to just build it in here, where the Chernobylite was. I can. There we go. Cool. Okay, I think that'll keep us out of trouble. Maybe. So I can also slip one in here. Nice. Okay. Okay, so we got a few of those anti-rad things up. So that should hopefully fix some of our issues. Oh, I don't like the humming. The hell is that? Oh. It's reacting to the Chernobylite? The hell does that mean? Unbelievable. Is it possible they were telling the truth? So what, is the powder oh, ashes of the dead people? Remember when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true. Well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's what? why it avoids the lie and phosphorus. Oh! Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. I have no idea how Matvey came up with this, but he hit the jackpot. So it's the phosphorus and lie. Bring the dust. I told you to return to the UK, Igor, but I see you didn't listen. Howdy! Well, it's understandable in a way. You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. You're the wild card of the zone. And who are so you? telling if you'll end up on the side of the heroes. Or the rats. You're talking gibberish. You gibberish. I don't know you gibberish. Semenov, perhaps even Koslov. Who else, I wonder? But your little gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. Oh? How do you... You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? What do you mean playing both sides? Boy. That what the NAR brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat, why did he call you a rat, Mousy? Yeah, I'm Amazing confused as well. And you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Why you're really here? You're done to get my wife. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana, and I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No, you don't. How do you know me. Tatiana? It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. You're delusional. Semenov used to photograph to lure you here to get you to mess with my plans. Also possible, to be fair. You his puppet, whether you realize it or not. Um. Reveal who he is. I don't know who he is. Um. I never work with Semenov or Koslov. never anyone's puppet. Neither Semenov's nor Koslov's. Besides, why do you even care? They're your pals, aren't they? You're as much a part of NAR as they are. You work together on Chernobylite. Yet again, you show off your profound ignorance. As if it was something to boast about. You know nothing about me. Nothing about my work. Nothing about Tatiana. So are we supposed to know who he oh, is at this point? it's not simple ignorance. Yes. Perhaps hmm. it's something intentional. How would we have figured that one out? i tool this whole time. How could I not have seen it? gotten into you, manipulated you from the inside, compelled you to act out its will. You think you control Chernobylite, but in fact, it controls you, your emotions and Right, because you seem very house. well adjusted with you the whole Chernobylite thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I crazy one. Plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you. Not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Who knows what the future will bring? I sincerely hope 
I never see you again, Eagle. <laughs> I like he walks backwards through it. Very cinematic, very cool. Alright, well. I am concerned that we don't know who he is. When we could have, like, taken that opportunity to reveal who he is. Because we do have, like, an investigation about the Black Stalker, but we don't actually... We haven't completed that yet, have we? I don't think we've had the chance to complete it. The only thing I can think of is if we miss something in the... Um, what's that thing? The, uh, NAR base, when we got captured. Like, maybe there was something there we missed about the Black Stalker? Hmm. I don't know. So it was you. It has been you this whole time. What, what the hell are you talking about? I've put up with your crap long enough. I think it's time we had a conversation. Oh, yes. Definitely, Eagle. Or should I call you Son of the Rat King? What? This is nonsense. Every day you're seeing ghosts and talking shit. And now this. How is anyone supposed to take you seriously, Tarakan? It's Sagai. What? My name is Sagai. I remember now. You see, the Rat King has always been with me for as long as I can remember. Right. I accepted it as my life's calling. The mission to hunt him down, expose him, prevent the end of the world. But I never truly knew why. It was almost like I was born in this place, destined to wander the marshes and woods. Right. That I wasn't born here. I was reborn. I'm very I confused about what's going on here. I always felt there was something hidden inside of me. A terror scratching at my soul from the inside. But there was no way for me to grasp it. It was too deep to reach it. But when I heard the Black Stalker talking to you, talking about Tachana, everything came back to me. Just like that. Okay. So you're saying you lost your memory somehow, and now it came back? Is that it? So what it's do you like remember? A bursting. A flood of... I'm still trying to figure out what it all means. I remember my childhood in a monastery far, far away from here. My father was an Orthodox priest. My mother, a devout, God-fearing woman. Okay, let's... Bedtime stories about the approaching apocalypse. Yeah, let's skip to the Rat, bit that matters. The king of rats, who will rise from the underground and herald the end of the world. I remember my daring escape from that haunted place. My studies at Leningrad Polytechnica. Okay. KGB, seeking me out for my natural talents in mathematics and electronics. Ah, it so you the are the hacker. Who are you really? I wonder if maybe you just finally lost it, old man. Hardly. I'm more lucid now than I've been in Right, so he definitely is the hacker. I was assigned to the Duca project. I didn't know what it was at the time. When oh, I so you were another scientist. Well, I raised some objections. I remember Tatiana. We both paid the price for trying to expose them. My former colleagues pumped me full of psychedelics and had me locked away in a mental institution. Ah. The things they did to me. Unimaginable. Electroshock, LSD, massive doses of psilocybin. Sergei Vasiliev was gone. Drooling, Sergei Vasiliev. And shitting himself in a padded cell. When I finally woke up, I was Tarakan, the holy warrior sworn to combat the forces of the Rat King. I'm sorry, Tara, yes, Sergei, but this all sounds a bit. <sighs> I can't trust you anymore, Igor. The Chernobylite is in you now. I can't even be sure I'm actually talking to you or to this thing. What? Now you're really talking crazy. We don't really know what this thing is. And besides, it influences everyone, even you. This is different. What that Black Stalker said about Chernobylite and you. Mm -hmm. You confirmed it yourself today at the mass grave. It's a living thing, a beast with a thousand of faces. You are one of those faces. Please, listen. What? No. I'm done listening. All this time I've been searching for a man. But Chernobylite is the Rat King. And you are its lackey. 
It manipulated you to come to the zone. Did it? may have sent you the picture of Tatiana, but it was Chernobylite that brought you here. What are you talking about? I kept dreaming about Tanya and... Ask yourself. I really did not expect this dreaming? going this way. Or was the Chernobylite perhaps dreaming you? Who are you really, Igor? What are you? I pity you, Igor. I'm leaving now, but this isn't over yet. You are an abomination. I cannot let you roam free. Oh. O okay. So Tarakan's gone, I take it? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> What did he even really say? I think I missed something there. That that really feels like I have completely missed something. Yeah, Terracan's gone. Um Okay, hang on, let me grab my mushrooms first and my herbs. Olivier? Igor. Yes. Hey, what's up? I was thinking about secrets. Any particular mm -hmm. secrets? Did you know the medical data gathered after the atomic strike on Japan was classified? Whoa! No. Nothing like a ray of sunshine to Yeah! Say. Seriously, cool. though, it's not that surprising. This American diplomat I met once told me about it. He said the U.S. Army was shocked at how deadly the fallout was. They put more than $20 billion into the Manhattan Project, after all. After their amazing victory, they couldn't admit to the public how toxic it was. That makes Even sense. The American troops helping the Japanese rebuild were getting sick. So they confiscated all the medical data, Japanese and American, and classified it. Yep. That's regrettable. The biggest crime the nuclear powers have committed against their citizens was failing to admit that long-term exposure to even low levels of radiation can be more deadly than a high dose received in a short amount of time. Yeah. yeah. That kind of secret kills people. Okay. Is that all you wanted to discuss? Like, a bit random, but sure. So yeah, don't we have a thing here for the Black Stalker? Simulation completed, simulation completed. Insufficient data. Yeah, so we're missing something about the Black Stalker. Simulation ready. So we don't know something about the Black Stalker. You need to finish the previous board before you gain full access to them. So this one? So we are missing something for the Black Stalker. And I feel like we lost... Tarakan because of it. Because he missed something. But we've been pretty good at grabbing, like, all the documents and shit. Right? I thought we had. I know oh. you're there, Professor Kaminiuk. Answer the radio. We oh, need Kozlov. to have a little chat. I sure. I something that may interest you, Igor. Please. Are you... General Kozlov, in the flesh. I need to talk to you. Again. Oh. Why should I trust you? I don't need you to trust me. Simply listen and draw your own conclusions. But not here. Red Forest. Next to the train station. God damn it. Come alone. I was just in Red Forest. Um, try and find That's out what he so wants. so important that it can't be discussed on the radio. A matter of life and death. Perhaps yours. Perhaps someone else's. You'll have to meet me to find out. I don't like this one bit. I know, Professor. Oh well, sure. Be there anyway. There won't be another chance. Well, what do you reckon the over-under is that he's going to betray me? That Oop. was Kozlov, right? What did he want? Some FaceTime in the Red Forest. The Red For- You can't go. It's too dangerous. Why? No shit, it's dangerous. When did that ever stop you from sending me on a mission? I'll what? take I was literally record. just there. It's not that dangerous. But all Koslov has to do is pull a gun and blow your brains out. That's a hard no. Um. 
Yeah, you're behaving weirdly and hiding something. This what is, is what's this about? You, is there something you need to tell me? No. I mean, I've got a strange feeling about this is all. This trip could end very badly for us. Remember to stay on the radio, okay? I'll help you from here any way I can. Sure. Don't worry so much, Olivier. Someone has to. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, food drop, Sashko, food drop, Olivier. Uh, medicines, Olga. Uh, Mikhail, you can get that one, and I'll go and do that. Let's go! General Koslov, head of NAR security. A man from the past with a past. I know his kind. They say they want a happy, quiet life. Well, I'm glad we kept him alive, though. To war and suffering. Well, assuming he doesn't I just... Still don't know exactly who you can trust. Like, yeah, literally, I guess he can't just pull a gun on me, blow my brains out, and I'm gonna have to go back to the Chernobyl light drawing board. Even if you don't have all the details. I mean, if that's what he wants to do, though, fucking joke's on him, because if he kills me, I'm gonna go back in time and blow his brains out first. <laughs> I will win this time travel duel. Oh, that would be cool, though. That would be cool if, like, you know, there was that chance that he would just, boom, get rid of you. And you'd have to go back in time and stop it. That'd be a fun mechanic. For the record, going to this meeting is dangerous. Going alone is downright stupid. Watch out for any sign of an ambush, okay? Well, he's just over there. Ah, shit, we didn't make any more... Didn't make any more friggin' what do you call it? Ooh. Um, didn't make any more lockpicks. That was stupid. I should have definitely done that. My bad. I like how Olivier's like, oh the red forest, that's so dangerous. Yeah, seems to be. Look at how dangerous this is. Such danger. Also, we might... This might be a bit of a longer episode. Ooh, I see a shotgun down there. This must be the place. Keep your eyes peeled. I also see that thing in there that we didn't get to before. Can I get up here? No? Huh. Oh, well, there he is. Well, my scanner doesn't show anybody, so I think we're good. Kozlov? Show me your hands. I didn't come here to play cops and robbers, Professor Kamiuk. <laughs> if I wanted to get rid Fair of enough. you, you'd be making your bed in a lime pit right now. Funny. Um, yeah, I see no reason to get aggressive I yet. I can't wait. There's a helipad with an abandoned helicopter next to the railroad. Yeah. Go there. Find the button that powers it up, and press it. What's that supposed to do? Blow me to bits? Yeah, wh no, what is this? No harm will come to you. Please, indulge me. Then come back and we will talk again. Um... Sure, I guess. God, what's with, like, the weird cloak and dagger stuff? Literally just talk to me. Something to tell you. Why didn't he just say it? What are you saying? It's all an elaborate trap. They're going to stuff you into an old tire and set it ablaze. I've seen it many times before. Not a very attractive prospect, but I have to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I'll be honest, Olivier. You're acting really weird. You're making me really think something's going on. About that, at least. So you think you can trust him now? Can still back out, you know. back now, God, the little like spitty boys are a bit of a pain in the ass. There's another one right there. You reckon the assault rifle's better? Mm, not really, actually. It's kind of, kind of, sort of, maybe a lot worse. I'm just gonna go grab this, and then I'm gonna. Put another one of these down. 
Boom, zero. Perfect. Chernobylite Storm Delay, we'll put one of them here too. Nice. And we'll put another one behind here. We're getting good use out of these mushrooms. Cool. Uh, right, what am I doing in here? I'm pressing a button to start it. Do I climb in the... Oh. I going to say, do I climb in the back, or...? Okay. <laughs> that did the trick. Not really a button, but sure. Look at that. Talk to me, Igor. Look at what? There's an underground bunker beneath the helipad. Don't go in there. Oh. Please. Let's regroup and we can figure out what to do next. I'll let you know what I find. Well, this is getting interesting. I'm losing you. Igor. Surveillance equipment. Can't be Soviet. It looks cutting edge. Olivier, are you a spy? Because you're really trying to stop me getting in here. And I feel like... It's because it's got to do with you. Mr. Kiminyuk, okay, K. Kiminyuk, Mikhail, in the middle of something. Glad you like the place. Hope you leave in the same pristine condition you found it. And now we need to talk business. Anton will be around. Anton is he was killed. What a pity. He's such a nice guy. Perhaps too fucking nice. Yeah, I bet my last cigarette spot got him killed. I don't think so. What do you think, Mikhail? What do you want? Fern, help me wipe the NAR database. And before you stop bitching about it, I know you're not the kind of scientist I'll walk you through the whole thing, right? Okay, so Kim and York, who is this? A better question is, who are you? What? I kid, Mousy, I kid. I know where you are, and I know who you're looking for. This is like... This is intros of our... Transcripts. Someone's keeping tabs on me in our little warehouse operation. Yeah. But I've got everything here. My exact words, my plans. But how? Is the place bugged? It's Olivier, isn't it? Olivier, Olivier, come in. Where did you go? I thought I lost you for a second there, Who's buddy. Who's he reporting to, I wonder? Oh god, we have a couple of question marks here too. Ugh. I found okay. a bunch of surveillance hardware in the bunker. It must be an old Soviet facility. I wouldn't worry about it. Mm. That's not all. I also found intel about me and our mission. Someone is listening to everything we say in the warehouse. Are you certain? Maybe it's just old intel the KGB gathered on you. No. Oh, it's no definitely way. Olivier, the isn't it? Brand new and God damn it, Olivier, someone's been tracking our every step. We need to talk. I'll come back soon. Like, it, it must be Olivier. He's trying to deflect this way too much. All right, Kozlov. You've seen it. I can see it in your eyes. What do you think? That's what I should be asking you. Are you spying on us? My dear professor. You have a brilliant mind for science, but reading people is not your strong suit. No, I'm not spying on you. That is the hidey hole of a rogue operative. To be honest, I only recently discovered it. Right. I'm not sure who he's working for, but I do know who he is. Yes, General? A military man with connections to a foreign agency. <laughs> Canadian, perhaps? So, Olivier. Uh, ask Kozlov about Olivier. Enough riddles. You think he's a Canadian? Your best buddy Olivier has been with you the entire time. He's the only person with access to you 24-7. So why are you telling me this, it. though? Set your emotions aside and you'll see it's the only logical answer. He's working for someone. NAR, maybe. If that's the case, he reports to someone higher in the chain of command even than me. Hmm? The whole operation is off the books. So there's definitely something unusual here. So Otherwise, what I'm seeing here is Kozlov's a bit but uh, one to handle it. Why yeah, did why you did you show this? me? Not out of sympathy for my cause, I assume. You assume correct. I have my own reasons. Helping you in this case serves my own interests. So you want me to find I out who he's know working exactly for? Why you're here, Kaminyuk. I'm not entirely sure you know either. You so I do your dirty work. You have a hunch. Let's say a feeling that you're chasing. You may find it hard to believe, 
but we're not so different, you and I. Oh god, not this. Someone. You're not so different. We're not Someone so different, you and I. Conversation. Us. Someone close. Now we're trying to get that person back. We're all just pieces on a giant chessboard, at the mercy of powerful forces. But right. Which remains unclear, and even a lowly pawn may turn out to be a queen. Okay. Um, let's draw a conclusion. I mean, I believe him purely because Olivier's been really defensive and weird about this place. Let's say I believe you. I'm curious where you're going with this. Treat this information about Olivier as an olive branch of sorts. Oh. Do you think I enjoy playing the evil Colonel Kurtz in this jungle? <laughs> no, I do not. I came here believing this would be the last assignment of my career. No. Well, working in the still could be. would allow me to retire someplace nice with my nephew. Dieb. I'm his only remaining kin. My brother, his father, died in Chechnya. Instead, I've become hmm. entangled in a questionable business run by greedy corporate rats and their shady scientist stooges with a god complex. When they sent Seminov, <laughs> I might leave. They took Gleb. Oh. Me as part of a mysterious safety protocol. In reality, he's a hostage. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. Not for me. Is that gonna? I've done things I'm not proud of. Is that gonna be the kid? Gleb. He could grow up to be a decent. Because he was in like an NAR prison, which is really him, weird. And I will help you find what you're looking for. Who you're looking for? Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. There was a little kid. Yeah. About ten years old. What? You better tell me what you know, or this conversation won't continue in such a polite manner. <laughs> the real hunter doesn't kill cops. Tell Kozlov he can pick his kiddo up from the village, but I'm still coming after him. Um. Uh, tell him the truth. I don't know if you believe in coincidence, but I know where Glib is. What? If you know something, you'd better. Yeah, I just calm down. General. He's okay. I came across him in an old bunker and freed him. He was being kept. I don't need all the details right now. Where is Glib? He's I with the, the summer shows. Yeah. Matvey and his people are taking care of him. I hope you're not playing games with me, Kaminyuk. But you don't strike me as the kind of man who would do that. Thank you. Your sense of honor humbles me. It is a rare quality these days. Apparently. This is where we part ways. I hope we don't run into each other again in less favorable circumstances. It would be better if you just left the zone, Kozlov. For both our sakes. I wish I could, but it's not that easy. Like I told you before, we're all pieces on the chessboard. <laughs> Interesting. So that's come back around. And I know you will too. So I guess if I left him Professor in that prison, Kimiuk. yeah, that would have been really bad. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, Olivier's a spy, and we're going to have to go back and talk to him. But first, I want to go check out these two, um, these two secrets spots at the Samichel village and the one down here but we're gonna have to do that in the next episode so guys thank you very much everyone for watching if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more content from me the Aussie nerd feel free to subscribe to my channel check out the videos on there if you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content make sure you share the video too with them really appreciate it and finally if you want to leave any hints tips tricks feedback for the videos or you just want to say hi make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it and I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.